Hi everyone, it's Heidi from Blackhawk here. With today's video series, we're going to show you how to assemble a Kestrel frame. When purchasing a Kestrel frame, you're going to get a black bag. In that black bag will contain the outer hoop, the netting, and the rods. You'll also get the two parts of the main frame, the lower section for the gas tank and the upper section where your arms and your harness will be attached. You'll also get a back pad, a harness, and arms. Now there's two options for the Kestrel. You can get the high hang point or mid hang point J-bars or the weight shift. If that's the case, you will have a different harness and arms. If you purchase a weight shift model, the additional piece that you'll receive in your package are the retention straps. When putting together your Kestrel, you're going to need a few tools. Number one, a rubber mallet. Two, a 13 millimeter socket wrench an 8 millimeter Allen wrench, and just in case, a 13 millimeter wrench. Okay, first things first, you're going to take your lower main frame, which will already have your gas tank on it, and your upper main frame, which will have the motor on it, and you'll put them together using your rubber mallet and the straps. Once your upper and lower frames are connected, use the Velcro straps here to secure them. By wrapping it around, pulling tight, and then securing. You'll be doing this to both sides of the frame. Okay, next you'll be taking your outer hoop netting and rods out of the bag. Your bag is gonna contain six rods, two small, two medium and two large. You're gonna start with the two small on each side of the bottom and you work your way to the taller ones on top. All right, with the smaller rods, go ahead and insert them in the bottom one. It does not matter which end you put in. Be sure that the little pin comes through the hole up here. Then take the medium sized rods Insert those as well. Then your two larger rods you'll be putting on top. Be sure that you put the rod with the pull start clamp on this side with the pull start clamp being towards the bottom of the pool. Now that you have your rods in, we can work on the outer hoop. Keep in mind that the outer hoop might seem a bit intimidating with all the netting. Just be sure that when you connect the ends, you don't get the rods stuck around the netting like this. We're gonna start with the bottom and work our way around, making sure that none of the outer hoop is stuck in the netting. Be sure this is clear. Grab your other hoop, make sure it's not entwined with the netting, and continue to connect all the way around. Clear and clear. Okay, now you can see that the outer hoop is completely assembled. Make sure that the little male portions are sticking through the hole here and that none of the netting is caught or twisted around any part of the outer hoop. There will be a little bit of play here, but that'll all firm up once you tighten the netting. Once everything is clear, we're good to go to finish the assembly of the outer hoop. Bring the outer hoop on the pilot side up to the main frame. We're gonna now install the rods to the outer hoop. To start assembling the outer hoop to the main frame, start at the bottom and insert one at a time. This is when you're going to be using your rubber mallet to tap it into place. I've got the first rod in place, so I'm gonna tape my rubber mallet and I'm gonna tap it gently into place. The next step is installing the first rod. Be sure that all netting is clear. Once you have the first rod in, tap into place. 
After the first one's installed, continue working your way around and using your rubber mallet each time you come to a rod. Once the outer hoop is installed, do one final check to make sure all the netting is on the outside of those rods. And if so, we can begin tightening the net. Now that your net is ready to be tightened, go ahead and grab the clips from each side. Pull them in front where your harness would be. Take one of the clips and clip it through the circle and the other clip, just like this. To finalize the tightening of the net, we now need to work this black strap through parts of the cage. Okay, to start, bring this black strap across the front, underneath the bottom. Be sure not to let the strap cross. Come up through the center ring. Pull through, around the bottom and bring the strap through this outer hoop, making sure it's not twisted. If so, bring it across the front and attach. And this is where you can pull the strap back through and tighten the net. As long as the strap isn't twisted anyway, put it through. and tighten. Once you have this semi-tight, it might be good if you had somebody help you so that as you push down here for the final portion of the net tightening, you can bring the strap around and pull all the way. Luis. As you can see now, the net is much tighter. Should you need more detail, please see our tips and tricks video on specifically tightening the net. Okay, now that we've finished assembling the Kestrel, you'll see two links on the video. One going to the Kestrel Pro and one going to the Kestrel High Hang Point. Please click on which one you ordered so that you can finish your assembly.